Good morning, everyone. It's great to see you here. As John said, my name is Frances Seymour. I'm the Director General of the Center for International Forestry Research, or C4, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to Forest Day 5. According to our pre-registration records, we may expect more than 1,200 people to join us over the course of the day today, representing a broad range of stakeholders in forest and climate change from at least 87 different countries. Our theme this year is From Policy to Practice. This theme acknowledges the progress that's been made since the first Forest Day in embedding forests into the UNFCCC agreements at the successive conferences of the parties, and the shift in relative emphasis from establishing policy towards realizing progress on the ground. Now this theme of from policy to practice also refers to the continuum of Forest Day participants represented in this room, from policy level negotiators to grassroots level practitioners. And we trust that all of you will find something for you in today's agenda. What we're going to do is start out with this opening plenary with welcoming remarks from representatives of our co-hosting organizations, the Government of South Africa and the Collaborative Partnership on Forests, followed by two wonderful keynote addresses. And then we'll finish with a special tribute to Wangari Mathai, contributed by the Greenbelt Movement. You will have noticed that our opening plenary has a special focus on African issues and African voices. And that emphasis will continue throughout the day. The parallel discussion forums this morning will explore different aspects of Red Plus. One session looks at how Red Plus is unfolding on the ground. Others look at reference levels in monitoring, biodiversity safeguards, the place of agroforestry, afforestation, and reforestation in Red Plus. Then in the afternoon, discussion forums will focus on adaptation, social safeguards, financing, and for the first time, a long overdue session on gender, and one session on Rio Plus 20 preparations. In response to your feedback, we've asked the sponsors of discussion forums to have fewer formal presentations and more time for discussion. Back by popular demand is a midday high-level session for quick updates from various speakers on recent developments related to climate and forests. For example, I'm sure we're all looking forward to an update on the state of play on forests in COP17 from Tony Lavinia, who's facilitating the Red Plus negotiations. But before that, and immediately following our break for lunch, we're going to try something new called the Issues Marketplace. Your feedback on previous Forest Days requested more time for informal networking with other participants. So the informal marketplace will provide a semi-structured space for various groups to showcase their work and meet others with interest in the same issues. And even though it will take place in the ice skating rink behind me, it will not be a place to chill out. It will be chaotic, it will be noisy, just like a real marketplace anywhere in the world. But we hope that it will meet your desire for more small group discussions and one-on-one -on -one interactions. And if you look on page nine in your program guide, you'll see all of the many organizations and resource persons who've agreed to be on hand to contribute to those discussions. We've decided to advance the starting time of the marketplace to one o'clock so that there will be more time for people to circulate in and out of the marketplace, as well as to pick up some lunch and stop by the exhibit booths and the poster exhibits behind you. My colleague John Comey will be coming back to you with more logistical information about the rest of the day at the end of this session. But there's, that's one change in the program that I wanted to highlight. Now this addition of the issues marketplace and other adjustments to Forest Day come in response to feedback that many of you have given us in your generous contributions to an independent assessment of Forest Day 4 that we commissioned last year from Green Inc. The summary of that assessment is in your white bag that you picked up on your way in. Um, to highlight just a few interesting results, 95% of respondents to an internet survey on Forest Day 4 rated it as successful or very successful. And out of the more than 100 UNFCCC delegates who were interviewed and surveyed online, 85% said the event had had an influence in shaping their negotiating position or in their thinking on the issues. Now, it's going to be hard to top that performance today, but let's give it a go. 
Now, we've commissioned Green Inc. to follow up with another assessment this year, so please help us out both by contributing to another successful day and also responding to their requests for feedback on how we can still improve. You can expect to receive an electronic survey in the next couple of days and a request for follow-up interviews in early 2012. It is now my pleasure to introduce Her Excellency Tina Jumat peterson South Africa's Minister for Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. Yesterday, the Honorable Minister gave a stern warning at Agriculture and Rural Development Day that she did not like long introductions, which according to her sounded too much like obituaries. So while I do have a two-page list of her accomplishments, I will simply introduce now the 2011 winner of the Africa Agriculture Minister of the Year Award to provide a brief welcome on behalf of our co-host, the Government of South Africa. 